Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Lumen and right now time to jump back into the Temple of Orsis Heroic for the final encounter. Kind of excited about this one as I said at the end of the previous video. I really badly want to try Reno Jackson out. I want to make this work with Reno Jackson. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know, but I think it's worth giving it a shot. And of all the different decks you could possibly make with Reno Jackson, a Freeze Mage is probably the best, right? So we're going to want to remove all the duplicates and pop him in there. I don't need Alex Straza. I don't need Antonidas. I want to survive. So we want to put all the cards in that'll allow us to do that. I mean, I still need stuff like removal, of course. Because i got to survive against, well, minions. Do I not have one of these? Right, because it's a freeze match, of course. <laughs> uh, Thalnos, he can stay. Look, it's a little excessive putting just one of each card in. Because you can get away with putting two of certain cards in. You can sprinkle a second one in there because when you play Reno Jackson, then I'm so keen to use this, by the way. <sighs> So excited. But, you know, you can have two because by the time you play Reno Jackson, then you could potentially have already drawn into that second one. You know? Flamework would have been great on the boss with the wishes. Why didn't I think of that? Is Echo of Medivh any good? I don't know. Let's go Polymorph. I want 23 cards already. This is... This is looking okay. Right, we've got that already. Emperor Thorosan's probably important enough to keep. Now, when it comes to the cheaper stuff, I'm going to want to put stuff like the Anoyotron in, just the, the smaller taunters, things that will delay my opponent. Do I have the Explosive Sheep in? Got the one in there. Great. I don't know if I need a silence. Uh, I think we can get away with not using the silence. Let's go, let's go Jules Scarab. I am pretty excited to use that. What else is there? Of the new stuff? Let's just have a look at that first. League of Explorers. Reno Jackson. Uh, Summon in stone? I think that... Is gonna not work all that well here, unfortunately. Okay, so we just need four more cards. I think that one of them is gonna have to be the little Earthen Ring Farseer. Where is he? A Death Lord. We can put Death Lord in. Earthen Ring Farseer. This is great. Oh, oh, Illuminator. Wow. I think this deck could possibly work on the ladder. It's not bad. Just against all the aggro out there right now. Why not? I'm going to call this Orsus as well. Defender of Argus. Uh, nah. I don't think I need that. There are a lot of, I don't know, sort of useful cards here. But I'm not entirely sure which would suit this. I like Nexus Champion Sarad. Nexus Champion Sarad, it gives you a lot of options in the later game. But... I still need to be pretty defensive. I think Hogger might be good for being defensive. But now I might be, I don't know, leaning towards a slightly higher curve. No, this is still fine. This curve is still okay. Cool. I like where this took me. I really do like the look of this. 
Does Nefarian work? I suppose not, right? Uh, maybe we'll put some giants in... Nah, let's just go with it like this. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. Solo Adventures. I have now built a dick. Got the first piece! Now we gotta get out of here before we get squished. Without even trying the encounter first. As you can see, the dialogue even just popped up there. But, I don't know, I'm pretty confident that this is what one needs to survive. You just gotta survive. There might not be enough heals in. Even something like Alexstrasza might have been a good thing. But with the different options the collapsing that pop temple. up, I might be able to get some mana crystals. Let the games begin. Echo. Mm. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm mulliganing for. I mean, that's that's I suppose as good as I can ask for. Collapsing ceiling and monsters everywhere. Hurry up! So I think the order hey, a glowing pool. Wanna check it out? is the same. I needed a big game hunter. I needed a big game hunter. I was gonna say, I think the order is the same every time. The end is coming! But we'll see. Wow. Wow. Did I just get like really lucky? <laughs> yes! Suck it, Temple Escape! Oh. I can take five. Oh, oh! I didn't put Reno Jackson in. I'm making Hurry Reno up. Jackson dick, and I don't put the guy in it. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Wow. I cannot believe what I just did. That boulder's huge. Get out of the way. Not remove the rod. I cannot believe that. Yeah, that's a massive boulder. Now. I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna get a boulder in my hand. No! <laughs> what is that even? Oh. Okay, the rumbling's getting worse. Oh, I bet the whole ceiling collapses next turn. Does that happen in the next turn? Hey, that's a nice statue. Such a shiny ruby. Damn it, if I finish this without even getting Reno Jackson in the dick. Oh, okay, restore 10 health, draw two cards. I've got enough cards. Uh -oh. Let's take 10 life. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his gem back! I think I wanna... I think I wanna play Emperor Thorisan. But what am I really reducing here? <laughs> a boulder. Oh, man. So, let's... Let's be a little sparing. Get that out of my hand. The ceiling's collapsing. That's such a cool effect. Close. Glad I could get you out of the way. You're welcome. Thank you, Reno. Thank you so much. Not an amazing Thorazam, but it's pretty okay. You cannot be allowed Whoa! to escape. Those are massive. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to freeze them for the rest of the game. It's only four turns. Forgotten torch? Not really. Mm, it's pretty dark in there, but I'm sure this will get us out faster. Let's go. On my map, it just says, "Don't go here." <laughs> I love this. This is literally one of the best, like, bosses 
encounters, I can't really call it a boss, that they've ever done. So I'm fine with having a 7-7 war golem, that's cool. Because I'm just going to freeze them all again, so... Yeah, okay, freeze them all. Now, do I even want to... Save Thorazan? I don't think I need to. Everything's so cheap already. Let's just kill that because... Ugh. Why is it always bugs? That's kind of scary, right? Uh, Mr. Deathlord is not going to save me from this, but the ice block will, so... I think, if anything, I might have wanted to put another ice block in here. Death does not scare me! He's hit one of those two, please. Ah. Oh. Does this even really matter? I think I just Most win. I can see the sun. This is the ice block. I think I just win. Oh! <laughs> it worked! I didn't even need Reno Jackson. Damn it! Oh! Man. That felt really bad. So there we are. That's heroic win one done. Ulderman comes out next week. That's going to be pretty exciting. I mean, by the time this goes up, it will already be Ulderman week, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. These cards. Brand Bronzebeard's going to be so sick. Oh, can't wait. Cannot wait to try him out. Actually, each of the wings is just really cool. Anyway, I'm done. Let me know if you struggled on the Heroic Temple Escape. That seemed pretty easy to me. The whole first wing seemed relatively easy. Didn't even have Reno Jackson in the deck. Oh, man. Such a scatterbrain. Anyway, check back here soon for more. Give it a like, share it, and do all your stuff. Most importantly, though. Happy Heroic Temple of Orsus. Completing it with relative ease. Happy that.